heart failure is a very, very serious disease. Within five years of diagnosis, about half of the people will no longer be living. Heart failure really is difficult to conceptualize. So I'm gonna to try to explain it to you through the five senses, sight, sound, smell, taste, touch. There's a characteristic look when someone's heart is feeling. They will look lethargic. They will have a foggy brain feeling. They will be dragging and fatigued. That means the heart really isn't pumping sufficient blood to the organs. A symptom you might be able to see in someone with heart failure is unsteadiness or dizziness. When the heart is failing, it's not able to pump enough blood to all the organs. One of the most important organs is your brain. When the heart's not able to get enough blood to the brain, you feel this characteristic sort of foggy headed feeling, but you also feel very dizzy and unsteady. One of the hallmark symptoms of heart failure is fluid backing up. When it backs up into the lungs, you have difficulty breathing. You cough and you produce phlegm. It's yellowish or it's whitish or it's pinkish. So one of the very unusual sounds that someone with heart failure will start to hear is themselves breathing. When fluid backs up in the lungs, there's no room for air. So in order to get air into all the air sacs, your body has to struggle to open each one. And it sounds like crackling. That's how it sounds. We're all familiar with the normal heartbeat. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Well, the failing heart can sound differently. Dun dun dun, dun dun dun, dun dun dun. There's an extra heart sound because the heart is overloaded with too much fluid and the heart's struggling to pump. With any chronically ill patient, there are so many things that can be triggering. They've been in the hospital so many times that every monitor ring strikes alarm. Many of them have a form of PTSD, living with the constant threat of your own mortality. Heart failure can sometimes lead to kidney failure. Kidneys are designed just to remove all the waste in your body. When that can't happen, some of them back up and you get this smell. It can be like an ammonia type of smell. And when the urine gets very concentrated because you can't make enough normal urine, that smell is even worse. Another thing that many patients with heart failure talk about is a funny taste in their mouth. The medications cause sort of a metallic taste, kind of like those old metal spoons that you eat out of. They get that metallic taste every time they eat. One of the things that virtually everyone with heart failure is asked to cut down on is salt. Salt makes you hold on to more fluid and water and that's the ultimate problem with heart failure. When you can no longer have salt, food tastes differently. We don't realize how many of our foods have salt in them and how much we rely on salt for some of the taste. Patients with heart failure are thirsty all the time. The kidneys are what control our salt and water intake. So when our kidneys are not seeing enough blood, it tells our body, hey, there's not enough water here, even though there's plenty. So it triggers our thirst centers in our brain. One of the things that people with heart failure will pay keen attention to is how their heart is feeling. They can feel it racing sometimes. They often feel it pounding. They can feel it beating irregularly. When you have heart failure, you can often feel it each and every beat. One of the ways we detect how much excess fluid someone is holding on to is by looking at the swelling in their legs. You would think that'd be obvious, and often it is, but sometimes it's not. Unless you hold pressure on the legs for three or five seconds, you see an indentation. That means you're holding on to fluid. Weight gain from excess fluid 
is a cardinal symptom of heart failure. When someone has heart failure, heart's not pumping forward enough, so it backs up. Backs up into the lungs first, but then it backs up into the gut. That makes you feel full and bloated all the time. And many people don't know that they're gaining that weight until they feel short of breath or their legs swell or something else happens. But by that time, they may already hold five liters of excess water in their body. Whenever I see a patient with heart failure, I have two important goals. One is to make them feel better and the other is to make them live longer. And the many medications and procedures we have are designed to do both. I tell my patients all the time, I'm an expert in heart failure, but you're an expert in you. So we have to figure out together how to manage this disease.